Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this 3D looking circular logo in Affinity Designer. This logo is based on the Flower of Life, on which I recorded a tutorial a few months ago. This logo is based on six comma-like shapes, which have a gradient applied to them, which gives them the impression of volume. Alright, so to get started, we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And we click on Create. And then we make sure that Snapping, Snap to Guides, Snap to Object Bounding Boxes, and Decode Bounding Box Midpoints are enabled. And then we go to View, Guides. And we add horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we're going to start drawing the figure. So we take the ellipse tool. We set the fill to none. We leave the stroke as black. And we set the stroke width to 0 0.1. And then starting from the middle of the composition, and while holding Ctrl and Shift to expand from the center and keep the one-to-one -one proportions, We go ahead and we create a circle of about 700 pixels in dimensions. And then to create this figure, we're going to need two rounds of six circles around it. So we press Ctrl J to duplicate it. And we move the duplicated circle to the right until its midpoint on its left extremity snaps to the center of the composition. And then we're going to duplicate it so we go here to enable Transform Origin. And we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press on Enter to bring out the Move Duplicate panel. We check on Duplicate. We set the number of copies to 5. And the rotation angle to 60 degrees. And we click on OK. So this gives us the first round of six circles. And then we unselect and reselect one of the circles. We press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. And then we need to position it in a way that its midpoint on its right extremity snaps to the intersection of circles here. And if we have difficulty to find the intersection, we can press Ctrl A to select everything and then select the circle again, and then you should be able to find the intersection. And then we take the rotation center, and we position it in the center of the composition. We press on Enter to bring on the Move Duplicate panel again. We check on Preview Settings to apply the same duplication settings as for the first round of circles. And also we check on Duplicate, and we click on OK. So this gives us the second round of six circles. And then we're going to need one more circle. So we select the circle in the center. We press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. And then we expand it while holding Ctrl and Shift. until it snaps to the outer extremity of the first round of circles. All right, so now we have all the circles that we need to create the figure. So we press on Ctrl A to select everything. We take the Shape Builder tool. We set the action to plus and the cleanup to all unused geometry. And we create a comma looking shape like this. And here we have a small bit that goes inside that we need to remove. So we take the node tool, we zoom in on it. So we select one of the nodes, we break it there. And then we select the other node and we break it there too. And then with the move tool, we select with this small bit and we delete it. 
and then we take the node tool again and we join the nodes. So we need to join the nodes in order to set a fill color to it. And then we're going to apply the gradient. So we take the gradient tool, we leave the context as fill, and we set the type to linear. And then we go ahead and we draw a gradient from one extremity of the shape to the other. And then we go here and we insert a node in the middle. We set the color in the middle to a light greenish blue. And the two colors at the extremity to a dark greenish blue. And also we can adjust the nodes. So I'll bring this one to the right. And also I'll bring the midpoints of the gradient towards the center. So this gradient gives the impression that the object has a concave shape and as if the light is reflecting in the area here where the lighter color is applied. And then we're going to set the stroke color to none. And then we're going to duplicate this object to have the rest of the logo. But before we do that, we go to Layer, Create Symbol. So now this shape is turning to a symbol. What that means is that after we duplicate it, every change that we make to one of the symbols will automatically also reflect on the other symbols. And then we take its rotation center and we center it in the middle of the composition. We press on Enter to bring out the Move Duplicate panel. We leave previous settings on and we check on duplicate and we click on OK. And this gives us the rest of the logo. And now if you want to adjust the colors, we can do that. So we uncollapse one of the symbols. We select the object. And we can adjust the colors. Make them darker if you want. So this gives the impression as there is some shadow that is applied here. And also if you want, we can give it a bit of noise. And also if you want, we can change the direction of the gradient. So this is the benefit of working with symbols that makes the workflow much more dynamic and efficient. All right, so that was it for this tutorial. You'll learn how to create a 3D looking circular logo in Affinity Designer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time, bye.